was it always that small? Or did you just get too big for it? It's a long road. I fucking made it. Fought long, fought hard, V. You deserve this. It's okay, V. You're allowed to be a little proud of yourself. So you saying you and me were good? Made our peace at the oil fields. Nothing's changed since then. Just glad you'll pull through, and that I got the chance to call you my friend. I can still call myself your friend. Of course you can. God my blessing. Been in your head some time, V. Know you well enough that it ain't even a question. How are you doing this? Being so damn... Died once already, you know. Getting used to it. Jokes aside, though. Honestly, always felt death breathing down my neck. That's why I lived like every day was my last. But now, first time in fucking forever, I feel at peace. The first near-death experience it scared me shitless. The fear is like a well. The more you draw, drink from it, the less is left. It scares me I can't stick around to see what happens to you, the world. But honestly, thought of you gone so I could live always scared me more. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo? Yes. So... Promise me one thing, will you? I promise. No idea what, but... I promise. Not asking you to never give up. Sometimes, you gotta let go. Just don't let anyone change who you are, okay? Johnny... I... Good night, Vincent. Today was a good day. V, I wanted to speak with you. You in there? You scared me, you know that. I think you had nightmares. We screamed a few times. I don't know what I would do without you. Take care, V. And I would not want to cock this up. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Wake up, V! After love, see you there. Hi, they're opening. 
I think he sees me now. B, can you hear me? I think I can hear. And I can talk. Good. About time. Reed, that you seem different somehow. Even almost look like. Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. No exception. Nice. Nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. Was told you got a new job. New duties. Lots of them. Busy bear. No time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. Now, how'd you know? When I wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork. Training recruits. Nothing to write home about. Now your style of work sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. I need to ask, how is so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. Hearing a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. Let's cut the Angram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants, chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple co-processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V, but the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. Fuck. My whole life down the shitter. It's rough, I know. It'll take, uh, it'll take getting used to. But it gets better. Trust me. Two years, and sapped nerves. That all your best docs can manage? I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. Same shit. Always. Peeps want to help me. Never been able to. Why? Are you... You alright? I need... I need... Need some air.
Oh, legs of Joey. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damage my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. Why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cells' regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants had been deactivated. It needed to it. The survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Green, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed? This... story... We do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid. Way. Hey, Jude. V, where are you been to? NUS Clinic had the uh, surgery. It's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of the time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. Should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing? With some drawbacks. I, uh... I'll never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but 
Got no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Sounds like you're angling not to be part of it. Mad at me for disappearing, right? Nah. I mean, sure, I was, but... Finally decided you'd have pinged me if you could. Now it's just... The... I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now... Really can't help you. Shit. Miss so much. You know, if you hadn't vanished, don't know that I'd ever have left NC. Or met Bianca. Maybe I should have ghosted sooner. Come on. You know it's not like that. Well, bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. A lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Uh, hope it's temporary. A waypoint, not outright nomadic flight. So, uh, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all, but not on the greatest terms. It'd be great right now. Really great. If I could see you. You find a moment. Bring me back. Yeah? See you. Soon. And that's why I say, you know what? Fuck him sideways! Hang on, guys. Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V. It's me. One and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem you're alive, Joe! Kinda figured you might be happy. How's things, Carrie? Hacienda, you're still standing? Who cares about a house? Someplace way prima right now. Sitting on the Crystal Palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday, had this beaut fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, well, not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Really want to talk face to face. Sounds serious. Think we can meet up? Uh, I can't now. I'm on tour. It will be a while. But if the hollow is enough, I'm all yours. Well, just woke up from a two year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, Joe? I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Fuck. Do you yeah. hear what? Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah, got surgery. That's why I'm alive. But... Didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck. I, I, damn, I, I'm sorry. It sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or... Um... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone right now. What the hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fuck! 
fucking tune. I don't need to hold their hand, as long as it's all harmony. Carrie? V. Ah, you know I'd love to help. I really would. But I... I just can't swing it. Play in Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. Looking like everybody needs Carrie. Wants a piece of you. Yeah, it's a crap coincidence, you know. Lots going on. Shit luck. Yeah. Shit luck. What do you think? Gonna see you again? Shit, of course you will. Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or... Okay, yeah, four, four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, V, in the middle of some kind of... I gotta go. They're calling you back on stage. Uh, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. It's me. Me who? Well, uh, V, obviously. Is it obvious? Stop futzing around. V I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect to hear after all this time? Dunno, maybe something like, wow, glad you're not dead. River, I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. <laughs> Here I am being a fucking asshole to you. You okay? Getting this vibe that something's wrong. Honestly, everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with Trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Clearly didn't have any other options. How could you possibly know that? I know you. Would have done it differently if you had a choice. Fuck, River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet? Help each other out? Too late for that. What? Rather not see me? <laughs> Look. I'm not the man you used to know. Couldn't stand to look you in the eye. Not you. Not... Fuck am I blabbing for? I gotta go. Wait a sec, River. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't- Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? The one and only. Unbelievable. But how are you... Why? So... This Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked. But... Not without complications. To your coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, 
They saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. And is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. <laughs> At least I can still count on you being there for me. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I already hollowed someone. Seems not all my relationships stood the test of time. People move on, V. But well, sometimes some of them come back. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Sick. It's good to have you back in NCV. <laughs> NCV. Rather a nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem so absent. Might I ask how you feel? No. Hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. How's life as a single car treating you? It's neither here nor there. I am as father made me. Wonder what he's up to. The essence of his being has transcended the limits of my comprehension. It can simultaneously be anywhere and nowhere. How'd you survive for two years without an owner? I stayed in a parking garage, but that grew very, very, very quickly. Then I began ferrying folk to their destinations, just like Father did in his time. And you took their money? know what to do with it. I merely ask them to fill me up. Think we could swing by my place? Sure. Let me just pull your address now and... Oh? What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent, apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. Oh, fuck me. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this 
week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? <laughs> Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then... Better get going. End. And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? What if I ain't? Traveling's not allowed anymore. Oh, it allowed. Just not here, dog. I see. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? What is this? <laughs> the chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. I'm not asking about that. Esoteric. Shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Miss Dielshevsky? She here? No one by that name is employed here, no. Misty worked here two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah. Private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic, so good to see you, old Reaper. V, how long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. Ha, <laughs> you're making a habit of this, rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Come on, gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty's shop. Hmm. 
and all her sense. <sighs> all right, come on, hop in the chair. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax, this'll take a moment. So, Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all? Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? <laughs> what can I say? The world, life, they moved on. Didn't wait around for me. You're all I got left. I know where you're coming from. Reach my age, you can find you have nothing in common with those you considered near and dear. Your case, age ain't exactly the only change. What are you trying to say exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems colder somehow, less cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations, you match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. This Seda tech thing, how'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong. I just can't resist it anymore. Former clients never liked Corpo, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say I hoped you'd say something else. Asked Misty what she thought before you signed? Of course I did. What'd she say? Well, she said a lot of things. She is the sensitive sort. Changes on pleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Think we could have chosen better? All of us? No. Huh. No hesitation. If there'd been better options, we'd have picked them. Or convinced ourselves they weren't better at all. Vic. <laughs> Sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, 
that'd maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life threatening. You said kind. you can do something, Vic. I. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Check again. V. You'll think of something, Vic. I know you will, please. I did all I could. Don't have anywhere else to go. I'm sorry, V. So... It's over. Done. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, Friend of yours. Man. Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> well, was on my way out, so... Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Petrochem Cox fucked us. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltz out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Drop it, let me alone. Hmm. Uh. Nope. Show me the money. Piss off. Or your brains fry to a crisp. Uh, I don't know about this. Go on, hack away. Give it your best shot. Nothing? Thought as much. Booyah! Oh! Fee? But you... What happened to you? Uh, Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. That jacket you're wearing. Jackies? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? I heard you moved out, and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I 
honestly feel fucking hopeless. Just got thrashed by two lame-ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? Couldn't. I... <laughs> Long story. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Look at you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you had... Oh, parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. Man, of all people, never thought I'd see you leave in Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Um, Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. I'm sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you, I do. You have helped. By staying alive. Noah, Misty. Thanks. Likewise, V. Could use a smoke, too. Here. Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Misty... Can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, you always have something smart to say. Hmm... I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Hmm. FIA offered me a job. 
Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me? It'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. <sighs> Doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. <sighs> Flat on its ass. Like it was when your fam broke up? Like after Compeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. Made the best choice of all of us. Leave an NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave, too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Dunno, Misty. Feel like I'm at a dead end. Could turn on my heel, choose a different path, I know. Not ready for that. Not yet. You can choose. Enjoy it. You're a free man. Once you make up your mind, I really hope you find... joy. My ride will be here soon. Lock me to it? Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so. I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. 
Even had a few folks come in for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong. Door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City, and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies. We tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, V. V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's... It's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's it's good to know that you're you're whole, you're you're all right. But um well, don't expect her to return your call. No. And and then don't try her again if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. A.V. I wouldn't mind knowing how you're managing. Langley awaits, if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let so me down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn... Ah, just drop me a line, will you? Avi, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? <laughs>